Hi, in this tutorial I'd like to show you how to create a config PHP file. So previously we had installed the Mahara installation files into onto our web server and we had also created a MySQL database and now we need to, to get the two of them talking to each other and the way we do that is by creating a config PHP file and the way we create a config PHP file is like this. First you look for the config distribution PHP file and you want to copy that and we're going to call it config PHP. Okay, and click uh, copy and we should see that right over here. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is want to edit it. So click edit, right click and then edit. All right, and you can see here there's a couple of values that we have to fill in, not too many. So first of all, we need database type, and since this is a MySQL database, so we're going to put in here MySQL, and now we need the database name, user, and password. So this is where that list that we made earlier uh, comes in handy. If you remember, we wrote down our database name as Zvita1 Mahara, so it's good if you could just copy and paste. You don't have to worry about mistyping what you wrote. The username was here Zvita1 Awesome. Okay. And oops, let's just paste that. And finally we need the password, which obviously oops, you um, obviously usually don't want to show your password. But we'll do it here. And we're going to put that right there. Now, these are all commented lines, commented lines. You don't really need them. Here, um, it's asking us for the folder that we created at the root of the directory. And if you remember, we created a Mahara uh, folder out on top of the HTML uh, directory outside the root that's accessible from the internet. Okay, so we call that Mahara data, and the path to that was right on top of the public HTML, so it's going to be this. Okay, so that is going to be the path right there. I hope you could see it. Now, there's another thing that's a little bit uh, further below here. I don't know if you could see it. It's asking you for an email contact. It's uh, the second to the last line. It's a little bit below your screen. Just trust me on that. I'm just filling in my email address. Okay, admin at migratelearningsite.com. So that's basically it. So we created the PHP file, the config PHP file, and that is saved. And now we are ready for the installation to begin. So we go to go to your website, and uh, now you could you could see here. Um, it's getting ready to install on the bottom here again. I, I'm not sure if you could see it, but instead there's a button here. It says install Mahara. I click on it and Mahara should be beginning to install. All right, so it is. Now, first thing you'll notice here on top, it says there's an error message that I have dangerous PHP settings and I should really try to fix it. So we'll try to do that in a moment. But in the meantime, we're going to let the... Uh, installation files set up the tables in the database and as you can see the checks are beginning to come I love watching checks like that green 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 alright keep on going keep on going and let's see almost there great it says uh, successfully installed Mahara so let's continue. So we're continuing, and you can see the error message is still here. So this is where the um, troubleshooting page on the Mahara website has a uh, troubleshooting guide. So here, one of the errors that upon successful install, I see something you have dangerous PHP settings. So basically, what they're saying is that you should add this line to your config PHP file. If this is there, replace it. Let's go back to our config PHP file, and I'm just going to put it right over here. I'm going to add this line, 
and I'm going to save my changes. It's a good thing. Okay, so I did that. All right, so let's go back to the home page, refresh, and see if that error goes away. Oh, it went away. That's nice. All right, so now um, default username is admin. Uh, default password is Mahara. Okay, and we're going to be forced to change it on our first login. Okay, so once a new password, and there's a rule here with passwords, it has to be at least six characters long and can contain something contain at least one digit and two letters. So try to remember that. All right, that's time number one. Uh, two, and I'll put in my email address. Now, okay, let's see what happens here. All right, so my password has been saved. Now, if I go into site administration, okay, now this is what I wanted to say, that you'll see sometimes um, these PHP errors come back. I've had that before, and basically, um, you just got to try again. See, it's, it's once on the bottom here, once the password again. When I do, I don't know why this happens, but when I do this a second time, everything goes away. All right, let's try that again. All right, now it's gone again. I don't think I'll come back this time. All right, so we're all, that's it. My password's been saved. Uh, you can log in as an administrator. And the only thing that we have left to do is to set up a cron job. You can see here cron is not running. So in the next video, I'd like to show you how to set up a cron job. But uh, in this video, I tried to show you how to set up a config PHP file. And uh, I just want to point out that the uh, Mahara website is useful in case you have any problems. Uh, sometimes if it doesn't take, try it again but this should do it. Another thing that you might want to consider is if you're really getting stuck, you might want to call your web host provider. Sometimes they could help you um, figure out what you're doing wrong in case it doesn't go as smoothly as this did. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I thank you for watching. Bye.